Hi there, my name is Zach Smith with Absolute High TN. Welcome back to our guide to High TN injection molding machine models. This is part three of our video series featuring the High TN Jupiter 3 model machine. You see one right here behind me at our Monk's Corner, South Carolina facility. So for those of you who aren't familiar with High TN International, please take a second pause on this screen or any of the others uh, throughout this presentation. So that way you can get a better idea of what we have to offer the U.S. and Canadian markets through Absolute High TN. <clears throat> now, for the Jupiter machine, we are on the third generation of this platform. This is a servo hydraulic two platen machine designed for large tonnage applications. What do I mean by that? We offer this machine from 506 to 7,418 U.S. tons, and it features an optimized plant for shorter dry cycle times. And this space-saving compact design of the two platen is a big benefit for the Jupiter series. Now, the Jupiter utilizes the same energy-saving Mars technology that we went over in the last video, and with that, it offers faster response times and higher positional accuracy than a standard open-loop system. <clears throat> the CAPA control is the operator panel for this machine, and one thing I do want to point out again is that with HITI International, the economies of scale factor comes into play pretty heavily here with the Jupiter machine. So when you're building and selling on average between 32 and 34,000 machines every year into the global market, you're going to get significantly lower lead times, significantly lower costs both up front and down the road. We have a lot more parts availability <clears throat> along with service and this is due in part because we use standardized components on the machine. Very few components are proprietary, therefore your cost of ownership over the lifetime of this machine be significantly lower and you're going to be very well supported through our absolute high TN aftermarket services division in Parma, Ohio, just outside of Cleveland. This is a rear photo of the clamp, the two platen design without any guarding, and this is a side view photo of the Jupiter 3 model. <clears throat> now the Jupiter series it did start out in 2004 and didn't really take off very well until 2010 when the JU2 came out. Since then, we've had the JU2 Plus, and now we're on the third generation as of 2019. And you can see this continuous upward trend for units produced and sold every year of the Jupiter model. <clears throat> now, the drive systems for this hydraulic or servo hydraulic Jupiter machine is the same as the Mars that we went over. It's a servo hydraulic clamp and injection unit, and it's utilizing the patented high TN drive systems which with, with this system, you'll see up to 70% energy savings and improved cycle times or reduced cycle times. Now, part of this is because you will have a, a much faster response time for different functions throughout the process with the servo hydraulic system, but it is a closed loop system uh, controlled by the servo drives. And this means that it is on-demand technology or on-demand power for your different functions throughout the process as opposed to a continuously running pump with valves redirecting the oil. You're, you're sucking up a lot of energy with the standard open loop system, whereas the closed loop system, you're gonna be saving a lot more money. So that might even justify the purchase of a new machine or replacement. Now with the injection unit sizes, I, I do wanna point out with all of the different clamp sizes we have, we have quite a wide pairing of injection units. Now this range here on this uh, chart shows the clamping units on the y-axis in green and then the injection units on the x-axis in gray and the dark green bars throughout the, the chart actually show the standard combination whereas the light green over here shows your undersizing or upsizing of injection units. Now if you don't see it within the, st the standard range we can always request from the factory or the engineering department if your application uh, can have a special combination but we do have quite a large range to fit your standard applications uh, given the standard combination of clamp and injection units available with the Jupiter series. <clears throat> now, speaking of the clamps, again, it's a two platen design and that's what really sets this apart from the Mars. So on average, you're gonna see about a 30% reduction in machine size or footprint space that this machine will take up compared to a toggle machine. Now, it's powered by these high-precision mold-closing cylinders. Some people call them pancake cylinders, but they're on the head of each uh, 
tie bar right here on the stationary side of the platen. <clears throat> Speaking of our platens, we do have some very wide tie bar spacing along with wide models available in the US and Canadian markets. So if you need a wide platen model, we will offer that to you. And <clears throat> one other thing with the platens, excuse me. <clears throat> one other thing with the platens is that we have increased the max mold weight for all platen styles, whether it be the standard SPI, the T-slot, or the magnet platens, whatever it is that's needed for your application. We can fit some very heavy and large molds on there, and we have enhanced the, uh, the footings and the ways in order to accommodate these. Now, you do have a reverse mounted ejector plate, and the synchronous split lock nut design actually allows for the clamp motion back and forth. Uh, it does lock up on these threaded tie bars here, and you can see in this rendering, it's actually all the way off of the tie bars, allowing for max mold height. Now, the dry cycle times. I, I do want to point this out. You can pause the screen and go through them if you'd like, but each year, HITN uh, continuously tries to improve the dry cycle times of the Jupiter. Generally speaking, this doesn't affect too many customers uh, because a lot of large tonnage applications could be anywhere in the, let's say, 30 to 40 second range at the very minimum. And then let's say maybe anywhere from 10, 15, 20 minute cycle range on the heavier end for very thick wall parts. So anywhere where we, where we can make improvements on the machine's dry cycle time, we try to make sure that you're aware so that way you're saving as much money as possible when you're actually making decisions on, on your machinery purchases. <clears throat> now the injection unit, this looks very similar to the Mars machine last video. These are photos uh, of the machine now that's actually right behind me, the JU7500, showing an overhead of the twin balance pull-in cylinders. Now these control the carriage motion back and forth and are also very easy to disconnect without having to make any kind of messy hydraulic disconnections. Uh, these essentially bolt to the stationary platen right here and are very easy to disconnect for that pivot motion for an easy screw and barrel change or, or screw removal. Now these rest on linear guide rails, the injection units do, on top of the injection unit base and you can see how elevated this is off of the actual base itself. This allows for very easy cleaning and maintenance items to be performed and the screw and barrel itself will rest on the barrel height adjustment which leans forward allowing more room for purgings to come down. Now you also have a very clean layout on your accessible electrical cabinets. One thing with our machines, especially in the very large tonnage, we try to make sure that they're all staying right here on the front of the machine, very easily accessible, not too tall, uh, very user friendly. And what I mean by that is these are all very clearly labeled, every wire is labeled individually. So it's very easy to trace any kind of issues or, or tie in any new inputs or outputs to the machine or test or force any of those inputs. And, and this is just a very clean and, and user-friendly cabinet. Now applications, I'm not gonna go too much into the application side of things because a lot of our customers that are already in large tonnage uh, machines understand what they need or, or what applications these large tonnage machines are usually focused towards. But for those of you who aren't aware, we do a lot of work within the automotive space and, and with appliances. Now these could be large parts, but relatively thin wall. And same thing with, you know, like let's say trash bins for the industrial. However, we have quite a few customers that do very large parts with very thick wall applications that need a lot of cooling time. These could be pallets or anything like that. <clears throat> so again, depending upon your application, please let us know and we would suggest the Jupiter or the Mars for you. But generally speaking, for all the large tonnage molding that you see out there, we're gonna be pushing the Jupiter machine. Now the cable control, again, I went over this in the last video with the Mars, but this is one of the most user-friendly uh, controllers on the market. It's very simple to understand and get around and get familiar with. A lot of our customers spend a couple minutes with it and are, are very easy with the transition over from XYZ controller into this CABA HITN controller. Um, this does have quite a few different functions for a processing standpoint that are, are surprising once you start understanding the controller and, and seeing how simple it is to navigate and use. Uh, it, it's very nice to know that you still have quite a bit of functionality available with this controller and you've got quite a few languages available standard on the machine. <clears throat> 
Now the process monitoring and remote access are two things, like I said last video, that a lot of our customers are asking for during this COVID-19 pandemic. And one thing that we found out quite a bit, uh, and we're realizing more so even now, is that a lot of different things that pop up from customers where they ask for a field service technician to come to the facility. Uh, generally speaking, a lot of those can be figured out by remote access, whether it's a phone call or us tying into the machine remotely, uh, which they're set up standard to do uh, through our computers. It, it's generally a very easy uh, fix. However, if we need to send a field service guy, no problem. Uh, but we do have a lot of customers asking for process monitoring. So going back to your application, we do need to know what you're looking for and we can recommend the correct solution for it, but we've got quite a few different options to give you for process monitoring. <clears throat> Another thing I do want to point out and make very clear is our standard options for the Jupiter 3 model. These machines for the US and Canadian markets come loaded up with all of the following options. You can pause this screen and, and kind of dig through them, but a lot of these might be line item charge options with XYZ competitor. Whereas we like to make sure that this machine is already stacked and ready to go for you as a standard or stock machine uh, option. If you do have any crazy options <clears throat> that you might not see on here, we have over 700 options available for the Jupiter from the factory. So two of the most common ones for the Jupiter that we usually see are, if you look at this rendering right here, this shows a tie bar being pulled. Uh, the tie bar puller is typically for people who have overhead restrictions and can't get their mold over the tie bar or just have a massive mold that fits only the platen but not between the tie bars. This is a great feature and option to have. A lot of people will go with the electric screw drive if they want parallel function. Again, the servo hydraulic system is sequential unless otherwise specified. Uh, but if you have a quality assurance program or, or if you have someone who's, who's very strict about their process as your customer, uh, you might want to look at the electric screwdriver option. Again, we've got over 700 different options that you can apply to this machine. So depending upon your application, please review it with your representative and we're more than happy to help you out with what options are standard and what is not and what you might need for your application. So some of the key takeaways for the Jupiter 3, uh, again, this is for large tonnage molding. 500 tons and up is our special, I guess, range for this machine. and what we would kind of push to customers towards this machine for is, is once you get up into that large tonnage molding, you are concerned about your floor space. Regardless of how large your facility is, you do want to see how many machines or, or different uh, work centers you can fit around your actual machine, whether it's packaging or what have you. Um, and, and generally speaking, the Jupiter 2 Platin design saves about 30% as compared to a toggle machine. Again, with high TN, you're getting a great price versus performance ratio. Your cost of ownership and, and the actual output of this machine it is out, outstanding. <clears throat> now, with the servo hydraulic energy savings, typically you're going to see around 30 to 80 percent compared to an open loop system. Now, a lot of customers that we work with uh, sometimes will justify the purchase alone just on energy savings. Sometimes you'll have a, a local energy supplier giving you a rebate. But this usually helps quite a bit in updating your available machines within your facility, making sure that your cost to manufacture and your overhead aren't too high based upon energy pigs on these old style machines. Now the CAPA control, again, very simply used, but very high functionality. It, it's a very easy to use customer friendly uh, controller, but it's got quite a few different neat options on there as you go through. And, and we do have 72 screens on this machine that are, are very easily accessible. And we do have some software for training before you have the machine brought into your facility. Uh, one of our reps can, can give you a USB with it on it to train your employees and understand all the functions of the Jupiter uh, CAPA control. Now, again, low cost of ownership from your purchase point all the way through to the end of the life cycle of the machine. These are very low costs of ownership machines because of the standardization of components. So the majority of components on these machines are interchangeable and we give you the source codes. So let's say like the valve on the machine behind me, it's a Rexroth, but we could give you the Yushin or the Vickers or uh, Bosch source codes and you could interchange them, get them through our parts department or try to find them online somewhere. Now the short lead times and availability of pre-built inventory help our customers quite a bit. We have on, on a hand typically around 120 or so 
rolling stock machines. And whether those are here in the U.S. at any of our facilities or in the build process at the factory, uh, that usually helps quite a bit. But the actual build or lead time for these machines are significantly lower than a lot of our competitors. So please take these into consideration when you're looking at your next large tonnage application. But for those of you who have any questions or, or comments, please feel free to give us a call or send us an email. And please take a look at ITN for your next injection molding machinery project. And we would love to have you for the next video series, which will be featuring the Venus machine. So thanks for sticking around. I appreciate your time. And we'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye.